Hi, this is Ahmed from Integral Audio. Our channel is focused on audio and music production. Please subscribe if you are interested in this sort of content and don't forget to check our website for more in-depth reviews. In this video, we will have a look at a simple but very useful noise removal tool. In fact, it's not just a denoiser, it's got more than that into it, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to be focused on the subtract mode, which will enable us to clean noisy audio. This is a stock plugin in Reaper, so some of you who use it may be familiar with it. There's not much else to say about it, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Here's the interface. It has a few modes and more features than just denoising. It could be used as an EQ, a gate, or a compressor. However, when you put it in subtract mode, it's going to be utilized for audio cleaning. There are different sizes for the number of samples here. You might want to experiment with them to find the perfect size for your track. There's an output gain slider, and there's the spectrum analyzer that is very accurate and there's no internal latency. The red line in here could be used to profile the noise, either automatically or manually, and after that it functions as a threshold or a reduction amount. You could be um, using this by pressing on control or command button if you're on Mac, and click on it then drag it up or down to adjust it to an appropriate level. Ideally, you would want to find a good balance between noise suppression and preserving the desired audio content. Now, let's hear a few examples to see how and when we could benefit from this plugin. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. First thing we'll want to do is find a blank space where there's only noise playing. This way, you would want to set up the noise profile to cancel it out from the audio track. You could do it manually or you could do it automatically by checking this box and have it enabled while playing noise. As you can see on the display now, it has drawn out the noise profile. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. There are some audio artifacts here, so I'm going to try to adjust the threshold and the sample size to see if it's going to eliminate that. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. I have a fan running in the background and there's probably some hissing coming from a microphone as well. So yeah. Okay, so that works. Now we're going to hear it with treatment and without treatment. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. I have a fan running in the background and there's probably some hissing coming from a microphone as well. So yeah. If you would like to do manual noise profiling or would like to modify the present noise profile, you could use different modes in here. I personally prefer the precise mode. Then you would go on the display to make the necessary adjustments. I am recording this on my iPhone right now with my windows open. It's 11 in the morning right now and looks like a good day. So again, it's going to be the same process. I'm just going to choose a portion of the noise that I'm going to profile it. I am recording this on my iPhone right now with my windows open. It's 11 in the morning right now and looks like a good day. And here I'm just going to try a different portion to see if it's going to give me better results. I am recording this on my iPhone right now with my windows open. It's 11 in the morning right now and looks like a good day. And as you heard, I couldn't remove the birds singing because the portions I chose didn't contain these frequencies. I could manually adjust that, but it might be too much work when there are other active plugins that may make this process more efficient in terms of time and results. And for your information, there is a plugin dedicated to removing bird sounds. It's called D-Bird. We have good it on the channel as well, so make sure to check that out. So back to Reefer, um, you could say that this plugin is best used when you have a recording that is recorded in an already somewhat quiet environment and you just need to take out the static hum or hiss noise, maybe AC noise or fan noise for instance, but for ever changing noises and more complex profiles like your outdoors, there's wind, 
there's traffic, there's people talking around you, it's just not really going to give you the most uh, satisfactory results. So this is a recording of me just walking down the street. How much is happening right now? But yeah. So this is a recording of me just walking down the street. How much is happening right now? But yeah, it's a little bit too sunny. I think I have to build it up for now. Complaints. So this is a recording of me just walking down the street. How much is happening right now? But yeah, it's a little bit too sunny. I think I have to enjoy the hunt for now. No complaints. It sounded really robotic, and to get good results, it may take quite some time. When there are active and dynamic denoisers that could give you better results with tracks like that. They haven't come out of that laboratory for the last three days. They won't even answer when I knock. Oh, Ken, I don't know what I'm going to do. They haven't come out of that laboratory for the last three days. They won't even answer when I knock. Oh, Ken, I don't know what I'm going to do. They haven't come out of that laboratory for the last three days. Oh, Ken, I don't know what I'm going to do. Linda, you've been married, I think, about six months now, and you sound just like a woman who's been married for ten years. You know what? I generally don't like using noise suppressors on high gain electric guitars because it feels like the noise somewhat adds aggression and character to the sound. I'd rather use a noise gate so when the guitar is not playing, the amp doesn't produce unwanted noises that may bleed into the track and just make the mix sound bad. I just wanted to test it in here to see how it would sound. Of course if the noise is too bad that affects the guitar tone, you might want to address it in the setup itself and maybe a noise suppressor could be beneficial as the first thing in your chain. So back to reefer, I think it's a useful tool for quick denoising of simple noises and that would be ideal to use in voiceovers, podcasts and other recordings that are already in a good condition but just need that final polishing. The key feature here is the ease of use and low CP usage to give fast results. You could try it out as an EQ or a compressor as well, and those are other neat features that may be beneficial in your audio productions. So at the end of this video I hope you found it helpful. And if so, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.